All right, guys, welcome back to this problem. Problem 10 from the Fundamentals of Chapter 2. Whoa, what is this? All right, so this one's going to be a little different. They're giving you the resultant force, and they're trying to, uh, they're having you find one of the forces that makes up that resultant force, okay? So they're telling us the resultant force acting on the bracket is to be 750 newtons directed on the positive x-axis. So what does that mean? If you said there is no y component to the resultant force, you're correct. So we know that the resultant force is going to point in this direction. Okay. So FRX is equal to FR. All right. But before we get to there, to that, um, to that point, we're going to break down each force like we've been doing. So let's call this F1. Let's leave it, no, let's call it, uh, no, let's leave it as F, F2, and then um, we'll call that FR. All right, so F1, right, is going to be, oh, look, they gave us a perfect triangle here. So we're going to have the magnitude, 325, right? What's the side parallel to the x-axis? It's the 5, so it's going to be 5 thirteens I it's pointing up and to the right so it's going to be plus oops 325 times 12 13 so 12 13 that's almost one right so it means that force is almost all vertical okay now f2 F2 is pointing down and to the right, so it's going to be positive x, so 600, right? That angle that they give me is making an angle 45 with the x-axis, so it's going to be 600 cosine 45 i, and then minus 600 sine 45 j, okay? Make sure you understand this part uh, very well, okay? Just do it out like in full, right? Just draw a triangle here. Right, draw a triangle here and then determine what this side is and then what this side is. And you should get that the y component will have a sine and then the x component will have a cosine. What is this? Okay. All right, what else? And what else do we have? Oh, yeah, we have uh, force F that we don't know. So force F in the X direction is going to be F cosine theta, right? And in the Y direction will be F sine theta. Okay. And now we're going to add up all the x's and all the y's okay i should start with all the y's so summation of all the y forces will give me my resultant in the y but we know that the resultant in the y is zero okay because they're saying that the resultant force is acting in the x the positive x axis okay so when we do this we're going to say so 325 12 13 so actually let's do that 325 times 12 divided by 13 oh it's a nice number 300 so 300 minus minus 424.3 plus f sine theta okay this will give me, let's isolate F sine theta by itself. So 300 minus 424.3, and that'll give me F sine theta is 124.3. All right, so we're done with one equation. Now let's do the Y. 
sorry, the x equation. So forces in the x is F R X. Okay. And we know the resultant is on the x direction and it has a magnitude of 750 newtons. Okay. And that's going to equal the summation of all these x components. So 325 times 5 divided by 13. So 125 plus 600 times cosine 45. 424.3. All right, I already had it here. Plus F cosine theta. So let's isolate F cosine theta. All right, so F cosine theta, that'll be 750 minus 125 minus 424.3. All right, you should be getting this. Now look what we have here. We have one equation here and two equations here, all right? So you can either solve for F or solve for theta. What I'll do is I will solve for theta, okay? So I'm going to um, rewrite this as F is equal to, actually, I'm going to rewrite this one as F is equal to 200.7 divided by cosine theta. And then you're going to plug that back into equation 2. Okay? So equation 1, become, once you plug that in, you substitute it, it's going to be 200.7 sine theta over cosine theta equals 124.3. All right. What is sine theta over cosine theta? Well, that is tan theta. Okay. And we're just going to divide out, divide through by 200.7. So it's going to be tan theta is equal to 124.3 divided by 200.7. Okay. Hopefully you, you stuck it out with me here. All right, and then we get theta is equal to thirty-one point seven five degrees. All right, and now let's just solve for f. Just put that in here. Soup. All right, this is one of our answers. All right, determine the magnitude of f and its direction theta. So two hundred. 0.7 divided by cosine 31.75 and then that unknown force has a magnitude of 236 uh, newtons so 236 newtons all right I'm running out of board here okay so there you have it so we've decomposed each vector, right? We added all the x's, added all the y's, summed them up. The x, the x, the resultant force in the x, we set it equal to 750, and the resultant force in the y, we set it equal to zero. Because the problem statement told us that there was no resultant force pointing in the y. Okay? And then we were able to just do some algebra and solve it. All right, guys, uh, there's a good problem you should definitely practice this. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, comment down below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks, guys.